Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. So you've learned to use the App Center by now, it's pretty easy, right? But you might find some other types of packages on the internet uh, to install apps, most notably Flatpaks and Snap packages. These are new methods of distributing software on Linux that are really growing rapidly and I'd like to show you how to deal with those on elementary OS. What are these packages? So you might not know that, but on Linux, system libraries are shared and managed by your package manager. This means one copy of each library on the system, so less disk space used, and only one version of the library to patch in case of security flaws, so less risk for your system. It also means that, while your system doesn't update the library, apps can't take advantage of new features. It is sometimes problematic if you stick with an old version of a distro or use an LTS distro, which is meant to be very stable, such as Ubuntu LTS or Elementary OS Low Key, which is based on that Ubuntu LTS version. To allow a running more modern version of apps on your system, the Linux community has created two new types of packages, Snaps and Flatpaks. These pack the app's binaries, as well as all libraries and assets, such as icons, themes, etc., you might need to run them. They don't use shared libraries and are thus able to be used on older systems. Snaps are Ubuntu's iteration on the idea and are seeing rapid adoption with closed source software, and Flatpaks are what most other distros are backing, with already more than 300 apps available in Flathub, the central Flatpak repository. There are differences between the two packaging systems, but they're not that important right now. Flatpaks. Let's start with these. They can be downloaded from Flathub, which is the central repository for these packages. Just go to flathub.org and search for any app you might want the latest version of. Some of these might be in the App Center, but you'll probably get a more recent version on Flathub. You can find, for example, Spotify, GIMP, Steam, VS Code, VLC or Kidden Life, but there are a lot more. Once you've identified the app you want, just click on it. You'll see an install button. This will download the Flatpak ref file, which is basically a pointer to where the files you need to install your package are stored. But how do you install this? Well, unfortunately on elementary OS there is no graphical way to do so yet. You'll have to open a terminal. Since elementary OS Loki was out before Flatpaks were a thing, you don't have the necessary software to install them. You'll have to add a PPA first. So start by typing sudo apt install software dash properties dash common. It will add the necessary packages to add a PPA if you haven't done that before. Then type these commands sudo add dash apt dash repository ppa colon alex larson with two s's slash flatpak this will add the ppa then type sudo apt update to refresh your repositories and finally tap sudo apt install flatpak once that's done you're ready to install flatpak files i'll leave these commands in the description of the video for easier reference now you need to install your file for this example i'll use vs code so my Flatpak ref file has been downloaded in my downloads folder. I'll just type in the terminal, Flatpak, install, and I will then drag my file in the terminal. Then type enter. This will install it. It might offer you to install some other libraries from Flathub along the way. It's a good idea to say yes. Once the process is complete, the app will be added to your applications menu and you can use it just like a normal app. On my system, I use a Flatpak for the latest version of GIMP. Now, these apps aren't in your app center, so how do you update them? Well, just type in the terminal Flatpak Update. And if you want to remove an app, just type Flatpak Remove, then press Tab twice. This will show the list of apps, runtimes and libraries installed with Flatpak. Just type the name of the one you want to remove and press Enter, and there you go. All your Flatpaks will then be updated if any new versions are available. When Elementary OS has integrated Flatpak support directly in the App Center, if they ever do so, things will be way easier with the ability to install, update, and remove apps directly from the App Center. Snap Packages These are basically the same thing as Flatpaks, but made by Ubuntu. The only real difference is that your apps will be downloaded from the Snap Store instead of being downloadable from anywhere. Snap Packages also have worse support for theming, so they might look a bit weird, but they are working on fixing this, though. To install a Snap package, you have a graphical option on Elementary OS, installing Snaptastic from the App Center. It is a paid app, uh, 3 bucks I believe. As with any other App Center app, you can decide to pay now, with the amount you like, or later, by entering zero in the amount field. Just don't hesitate to reward the developer if you use this app often and you like it. Once it's done, just go to the Snap Store on your browser, snapcraft.io slash store. Find the app you want, for example here I'll download VS Code again to show you the differences. Open the apps page, click on install and you'll see a view in desktop store button, click it. This should open Snaptastic if you've installed it. 
Then click the Install button and your Snap package should be installed. Your app will then be available just like a normal application. To update or remove your snaps, just open Snaptastic and go to the Updates tab. You'll see everything that can be updated. Click on an item to get the Uninstall button and uninstall it. But wait, there is another package format called App Image. This one is a bit more special since it doesn't depend on a central repository. It's simply a complete package containing all the files to run the app bypassing your system's libraries. If you've ever installed a macOS app by dragging it to the Applications folder, it's basically the same thing here. It won't install in your Applications menu though and needs to be run from the folder where you've downloaded it. But some developers have added an option to add it to your app's menu as well. The App Image app should respect your theme if the developers have enabled support for that. To start, find the App Image file. This will generally be offered as a download option, for example from the Caden Live website. Download that file. It might take a while since you're downloading the complete package. Once it's done, find your .app image file and right-click it. Select Properties and in the Permissions tab enable Execute for the Owner group. You should then be able to run the app image by clicking on it. The executable permission is disabled by default to limit the security risks, but if you trust the developer or the website where you have downloaded the app image from, you can go right ahead and enable that. And there you go! Once you click on the app image, it should run, and just remember to keep the file around or you won't be able to start that app again. So there it is guys, three new app distribution methods. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye!